Hi and welcome to Biostock Studio, where today we are joined by Sonata and CEO Mia Bundin. Welcome, Mia. Thank you, Cecilia. Could you start by telling us a little bit about the background to the company? Absolutely. Sonata was founded in 2011 by Bengt Linkvist, and Bengt has extensive knowledge about uh, a molecule called hyaluronan. It's a very viscous molecule. It's a good carrier for other substances. And what he thought was that within the area of osteoarthritis, where Sinatra is active today, there is a huge unmet medical need because the, the, um, the treatments available today don't give enough pain relief. So what if you could add a highly potent anti-inflammatory substance to this base molecule? And he did that through a very unique linker. And this allows our product, Syn321, to release diclofenac and give an anti-inflammatory effect for a very long time inside the joint. So that's really where it started. So in short, what is the vision of Sinatra? Well, it's simple. All these 500 million people and growing uh, having osteoarthritis, we want to give them a pain-free and physically active life. So sticking with that patient population a little bit, what will your product offer that, that this patient population don't have access to today? Yeah. So basically it's giving them a longer period of pain relief. The current treatments only give a shorter period and often not adequate as well. So you have to combine it with more drugs, for example, medicines. Uh, what is also a big disadvantage with many of the current treatments is a high rate of side effects, for example, with oral NSAIDs, diclofenac, for example, you can get stomach pains, you can get cardiovascular side effects. And with Syn321, which will stay inside the joint, it won't go into the system. We will avoid these side effects. That's the plan. And this is a common problem. How large is the market? Well, the market is huge and it's growing. So it's expected to be around 11 billion US dollars in 2025. So for you, the next step is a clinical study, a phase one slash two A study to be exact. Yeah. <laughs> and that is expected to start Q2 2024. Yes. What are you looking at in this study? Well, it's basically the first uh, trial we do in humans. We can skip the healthy volunteers since hyaluronic acid and diclofenac is known. Mm -hmm. So what we will check is the safety and the tolerability of SYN321 and also a uh, secondary parameter is of course an indication of the effect. And as you're here, we have to ask about the, the financial situation. What's it like? Well, what can I say? Money is always needed in a small company like this. So if you were to come back here in a year, what would you uh, hope that Sonato has achieved by then? Well, I would for sure foresee that we have most of the patients included in the first clinical trial. Uh, we've started our contact with the FDA around the pre-IND for the remaining clinical program. And we've uh, at least started also the planning for the second clinical trial, where SYN321 will be in pre-filled syringes. So you're used. expecting a very busy year then? A very busy year, absolutely. But thank you so much for taking the time to come here. Thank you.